Hey guys, this is Enrico with PragmaticReviews.com. Today we are going to review Automate.io. Automate.io is an application that allows you to create bots, to integrate and connect multiple cloud-based applications. It can be a simple automation like when there is a new email in Gmail, create a contact in Salesforce, or a multi-step automation like when someone fills a form on my website, add a subscriber in MailChimp first, wait for five minutes, and then send a welcome email. Automate.io is one of the main Sapier competitors. Let's make a short comparison between the two. On Automate.io, the integrations are both, and in Sapier, the integrations are SAPs. In the free plan, Automate.io allows you to create multi-step integrations. Sapier allows you to create two-step integrations. Automate.io in the free plan allows you to create up to 250 actions. Sapier allows you to create 100 actions for free. In the free plan, Automate.io, the bots of Automate.io run every five minutes. In Sapier, the SAPs run every 15 minutes for the free plan. In the paid plans, the Automate.io bots run every two minutes, one minute or 30 seconds. And in Sapier, the SAPs for the paid plans run every 15 or five minutes. Now let's create a bot with Automate.io. So every time we submit a Google form, the bot generates a notification message on a Slack channel. Okay, now we are going to create a bot connecting this form where we enter an email and a programming language that we want to learn. And this will trigger a new message that we are going to customize on automate.io to be sent to the demo channel, this channel on Slack. So let's go to the automate.io dashboard and let's create a bot. Okay, I'm going to click on create a bot. And here we have the trigger app and the action app. In the trigger app, I'm going to select Google Forms and I'm going to select the trigger event as the new response in a spreadsheet. Remember that every time that you enter that you submit some uh, Google form, you store a, a row in a spreadsheet. So that that is what Google Forms is using to store the information that we enter on a form. So we're going to select new response in a spreadsheet as the trigger event. We're going to select programming languages survey. That is this one. And we're going to select form responses one as the worksheet. And then as the action app, we're going to select Slack. And we're going to send a channel message. And the channel is going to be public and it's going, it's going to be the demo channel, this one. and we are going to customize the message. So we are going to drag and drop the field of this spreadsheet. We're going to say that this email address or this person wants to learn this language. So this person that has this email that we put here, is going to wants or wants to learn the message that we select here. So we're going to save this and we're going to turn it this on. We're going to skip the test. And then we are going to complete the form.
we put an email and we select the language. And then we're going to see on Slack that we receive a message that says Henry at email.com wants to learn Golang. So let's submit this. And now we are going to check on Slack that we get that message. Okay, now let's check automate.io activity. So now we turned on the bot and then we can see that the bot ran successfully and we have a new response in the spreadsheet. And we can see if we go to the Slack channel that we receive this message from automate.io. Henry at email.com wants to learn Golang. That's all I have for today. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I see you on the next video. Bye.